Hello everyone, it's Miss Veronica with Growing Brilliant Preschool. I am going to be doing an infant circle time. We are going to be doing a lot of sign language and sign language is a great tool to communicate effectively with your infant. It builds their self-esteem and their confidence. So I hope that these tools you can take and use with your infant on a daily basis. So first we're going to sing our hello song. Hello everyone, it's so nice to see you. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Hello, babies. It's so nice to see you. Hello, children. It's so nice to see you. Hello, friends. It's so nice to see you. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Hello everyone, it is so nice to see you. We are going to be looking for something today underneath our flowers. First, I'm going to show you the sign for what we're gonna be looking for, and I'll also show you the sign for these flowers. So we are looking for something that is black, and it has spots, and it is also red, and it's a type of bug. It is a ladybug. Can you say with me, lady bug? While we sing our song, we're gonna to refer to it as a bug. And I wanna go over the signs with you. We have a red flower. Can you say flower just like this? It is a red flower. And over here is a purple flower. We sign purple by using three fingers and crossing our thumb over our two and turning it upside down and waving it. That's purple. So this is a purple flower. And then we have right here, a blue flower. Can you say blue flower? Very good. So we're going to sing our Where Is song. So let's get our hands up and let's go. Where is Ladybug? Where is Ladybug? Here I am. Here I am. Hiding under red flower. Hiding under red flower. Look and see. Look and see. All right, you guys, let's clap our hands and count to three. One, two, three. Everybody say, Pika, Pika, boo. Oh, do you see our ladybug? He's not there. Oh, let's try to look again. And let's look under our purple flower, okay? Here's our purple flower. Let's go. Where is Ladybug? Where is Ladybug? Here I am. Here I am. Hiding under purple flower. Hiding under purple flower. Look and see. Look and see. All right, you guys, let's clap again and go one, two, three. Say Pika, Pika, boo! Do you see the ladybug? It's not there. Let's look again. Okay, let's look under our blue flower. Here we go. Where is ladybug? Where is ladybug? Here I am. Here I am. Hiding under blue flower. Hiding under blue flower. Look and see. Look. All right, let's clap one last time and see if we can find our ladybug. One, two, three. Pika, pika, boo! We found our ladybug. Look at that. We found our ladybug. It is red with black spots on its body. Do you see our ladybug? Ladybug. Very good. Okay, my friends. We are going to read a story now, and in our story, we will find a ladybug. Our story is called Flower Garden. It is written by Eve Bunnington, and it is illustrated by Katherine Hewitt. Can you see the flowers on the front page? There are flowers here. Let's open our story. Hmm. Garden in a shopping cart. Doesn't it look great? Garden on the checkout stand, I can hardly wait. See all those flowers? 
guarded in a cardboard box walking to the bus. She's holding the flowers. <clears throat> Garden sitting on our laps, people smiling at us. Garden going up the stairs, stop at each play, each floor. This garden's getting heavy. At last, we're on our floor. Hurry, 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 get the trowel, spread the papers thick, get the bag of potting soil. They are building their garden. See what color flowers we see here. I see purple and white and yellow and red and there's orange, orange. Garden in a window box high above the street. Where butterflies can stop and rest and ladybugs can meet. Do you see our ladybug right there? There's our ladybug, he's very tiny. Walkers walking down below will lift their heads and see purple, yellow, red, white, a color jamboree. All beautiful flowers. Thank you for finding my flowers with me today. To end our circle time, we're going to sing a rainbow song and then we will sing goodbye. Okay, so here's our rainbow and we're going to sing our song. So it says, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple are the colors of the rainbow. Okay, my friends, we are going to wave and sing goodbye. Okay, let's go. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Parents, if you are looking for something to do at home with your children, you can take a towel or a small washcloth and play peekaboo. And one way to incorporate some sensory with that towel is by running it across their toes and talking about that. When you sing peekaboo, you could sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and just run that little towel across their body and give them some of that sensory. Have a great day. Bye-bye.